guys, it's Jamie and welcome back to another video and welcome to 2021. Yes, that is right guys, it's the 1st of January today, a brand new year, 2020 is well and truly behind us and good riddance to it. But yeah, it's 2021 guys, so I just wanna start this one off by wishing you guys a happy new year and wishing you all the best for this year. I hope it's a good one and hopefully we can make it one to remember. As it's New Year's Day, we were up a little bit later today. Obviously had a bit of a late night last night, didn't really get out of bed until about 9.30 and get the day going until like 10. Just had some breakfast and I hope you guys enjoyed that little montage at the start of the video there, just whipping up a coffee on the Sage machine, which if you've seen the homeware haul video, was my housewarming gift to myself. And yeah, it's a bit of a challenge, but I'm getting a lot more used to it now. I just absolutely love it and it makes such good coffee. But we've started the day off, guys. This vlog is gonna be slightly different to normal. We didn't really, by the way, Lucy is here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really have much of a plan in terms of this video, but I just really wanted to pick my camera up and just kind of vlog a day at home because obviously you guys haven't seen the house since the moving in vlog, which went live last week. The house has changed a lot since then. We've made some really, really good progress with making the house a home. It's starting to look really, really good. And I just want to show you around a little bit in this video. And then we have a few tasks that we need to do today as well. And the first thing we need to do today is get rid of this. The Christmas tree has been there since the day we moved in and obviously it's a new year now and it's just getting kind of annoying and needs to go. But before we do get rid of it, I just wanna do something because if you guys remember, I think it was one of the first videos, if not the first video in the house buying series, we went and viewed a Clifton property, which is what our house is. And I looked into the bay window and said, when we move into the house, there will be a Christmas tree there. If you don't remember, or if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna chuck that clip up right here and just remind you guys quickly. This right here. When we move in, well, I'm gonna, I don't wanna jinx it, but when we move in before Christmas, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna replay this shot right here when we do the moving in vlog and then there's gonna be a Christmas tree here. Christmas is over. However nice it was to be able to spend it in our first home, which it was absolutely amazing. This tree is annoying us and it has to go. So that's the worst part's done, but now we are left with this absolute mess. You can't really... Oh. Oh God. That is much better. I can't believe how big this space feels without a tree here. So much room for activity. And now it's kind of just empty. So we're gonna put this little chair in here. Like that? Yeah, that's quite nice. Or do you think it should face the TV? Yeah, maybe that corner. We're just gonna put the chair in there for now that was just sitting over here. We actually did yesterday order an Ottoman storage bench, um, which is just like a little bench with a lid that you can put stuff in. That will sit in this opening here. It will act as a nice footstool until we get the permanent sofa. And also when we do get the sofa, it will be a good place for guests to sit down on and just kind of like a nice little decoration and to fill the space inside the bay window. So glad that's done. So glad the tree, it makes the lounge feel a lot bigger actually. So now that is done, I'm gonna give you guys a real quick run around the house, showing you just how different it looks compared to the moving in video where I did give you a quick house tour, but it was when it was completely empty. And now obviously we have a lot of difference in the house a week in, almost two weeks in. Nearly two weeks living in the house. So yeah, here we are in the lounge. Feels a lot bigger now. The tree is, has gone. We've got the TV unit with the big TV on it. Absolutely love this space. So bright, so big, so airy. Not a whole lot of change in the dining room. We had kind of got this set up. We've just got the dining table and the chairs. This is the most important piece of the dining room. We've got the whiskey and gin cart here. We've also got the internet currently set up on there at the minute. That isn't our proper internet. Um, long story short, there was a problem with it and this is something that Bovis have supplied us 
for the time being until our Wi-Fi is sorted out. Kitchen is looking really, really nice. This is like a finished room now, basically. Um, everything is set up. All the little appliances are set up. We want to do something with this space here because it's a nice big empty wall. We thought about getting just two more kitchen units to go there, but I don't think we're going to need them. So I think we're going to end up just getting some nice like racks or some shelves or something. The downstairs toilet has come on a lot since the last video. As you can see, we've got this nice big mirror hung up. It's basically finished now. We've got a few little decorations. The only thing we still need to get is a towel ring because the towel is just currently on the radiator. But apart from that, this room is done. Coming upstairs and the main bathroom is pretty much the same. Kitted out with some little decor pieces on the windowsill. Lucy's got her bath rack set up. The main bathroom is pretty much finished. The main bedroom looks a lot different as well. As you can see, we have now got these three IKEA units set up right along this front wall here. Uh, obviously still no bed, we're still waiting on that. So currently we are still sleeping on the floor. The wardrobe has finally been finished if you remember from the last video this was just completely left unfinished by the painters um, I was getting impatient because obviously it meant I couldn't put anything in there ended up getting a little paintbrush and painting this shelf myself which means I could fill it with my stuff the ensuite is basically finished as well the only thing we still need to get is a big old mirror cabinet up on the wall but apart from that everything is completely finished in here bedroom number two is looking very very cool as well we have got this big big ikea mirror so big that i can't even get it all in the frame this was actually an aluminium finish around the frame um, we did a little bit of diy yesterday and actually spray painted it black and it looks a lot better we've also got this big ass wardrobe here at the end of the moving vlog you might remember seeing that this had just got delivered we ended up building it the next day and this is actually lucy's wardrobe space it's a really cool floor to ceiling wardrobe it's called pax it's like a customizable thing from ikea eventually the sofa bed will come and live up here as well when we get the real sofa downstairs and then potentially lucy's going to get like a little dressing table thing and have here and this will be kind of her little space for clothes and getting ready and everything like that. And then last but not least, bedroom number three, which is actually gonna be our office space, temporarily set up at the minute for Lucy to start working from home on Monday. Next week, I'm gonna be ordering a big full length of worktop to go right across this wall here. It will be set up similar to this, just with two spaces, one for Lucy and one for me. So she can work from home and I can also sit up here to work on YouTube videos and everything like that. Hopefully we're gonna get some big shelves to go across the wall and stuff like that. Hopefully this will turn out to be a really cool little space. So the next task today guys is gonna to be to get this mirror up on the wall here in the hallway. This is actually from Ikea as well. Lucy did another order uh, last week and it was this mirror, the big one, and then a couple of little bits as well. We actually ordered as well the other day what's called a console table, which is gonna go over the radiator here. It's just like a little shelf um, and it'll be just a place to like chuck keys down and your wallet and stuff. When you come in and out of the house, it'll just be a nice little centerpiece in the hallway. Right there. I've had toothpaste on this t-shirt for any vlogging I've done since I cleaned my teeth, I've just realised. There we go. So I am currently making our gallery wall for our dining room. We have nine black and white photos throughout our relationship. That sounds like we've only taken nine no, pictures. Yeah. <laughs> so this is one of our very first photos we ever took together. This is where I debuted, debuted Jamie at um, yeah, yeah. a friend's house party. Debut. <laughs> and then this is obviously our house picture. And these are going to, um, we're going to have a grid of these on this wall here. So it's going to be three by three, a little gallery wall just to sit. In the dining room and look cute when we're eating our dinner. So this was Lucy's idea a long while ago. She started talking about it. Um, I think, did you see it on IG or something? Yeah. Or Pinterest or something like that. Like she said, it's basically just a three by three grid, nine photos, all in black and white um, of just times throughout our relationship. So this should look really, really nice. I think we might do something on this wall as well. Um, not sure what though, whether it'll be a mirror or some prints or something like that, but 
just add a little bit of spice to the house a little bit of spice to that just a little bit of decoration kind of brighten up the room a bit and this should be a really nice sentimental one so it's been a little while since I last spoke to you I've actually just been sitting here doing a little bit of editing work but it's six o'clock in the evening now guys um, it's been a really good day so far what's the evening plans my dear oh yes should be a really fun evening guys I'm gonna catch up with you when we're sitting down to eat some fish and chips so I've had a slight change of plan because we looked to get fish and chips as I said we were going to but it turns out the fish and chip shop is closed on New Year's Day. So that one went out of the window. So we ended up getting a kebab instead. What did you go for? I went for a chicken shish kebab. Chicken shish. I think I have a chicken and lamb shish as well, so. Good afternoon guys, it is actually the next day now. That clip was actually the last thing I filmed last night. We finished a takeaway there and then we ended up watching a film down here on Netflix. As I said, we were going to, and what did we watch? Escape Room. Escape room. Hopefully you can see That's Lucy in the back here. Rubbish ending. Yeah, if you haven't seen the film, the whole film was actually quite good, but the ending, like, you know when you watch a film, and they ruined the whole film in like the last few minutes. Well, it kind of was like that. But as I said though, didn't actually vlog anything else after we finished dinner last night. So I thought I would pick you guys up now just to finish off the vlog officially. I have actually just finished my first home workout of the new year. <laughs> And not, not actually just of the new year, but my first workout since we've moved house. So almost two weeks because I was on a strict regimen of running up and downstairs and building flat pack. That was my workout program for a couple of weeks. As I said, just finished my first one. It was an upper body workout. Gymshark 66 started yesterday. And of course, I'm taking part again this year. I'm not gonna go into detail about it now, guys, because I do wanna do a video covering a bit more in detail about Gymshark 66. That will be coming in the near future, but I just wanted to let you guys know that we are on it, and I've just finished my first workout of it. By the way, if you wonder why I'm standing here, it's because I'm in the bay window and it's kind of getting dark, so this is some good natural light at the minute. But as I said, that is gonna be it for this vlog, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it was a little bit of a random one and perhaps not very structured, but as I said at the beginning, I just wanted to pick my camera up and just vlog a day in our house to show you guys what we're getting up to, give you a little bit of an update in regards to progress and everything like that. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me, guys, and make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what kind of things you wanna see from my channel this year, and let me know what you thought of this video because I would really, really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, guys, or if you just haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button for me for new videos coming every single week. And from both of us, see you in the next one. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one.